Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. With all the Nikon uproar and rumors and the coming announcement for the Nikon Full Frame Mirrorless, August 23rd, they're saying, I believe that was the date. Um, a lot of us have been focused on Nikon. But don't forget, there's still a lot of interest in what's coming from Canon. We are expecting a Canon Full Frame Mirrorless announcement. Uh, but also, the video we did where we were discussing the 90D, um, a lot of good feedback from you folks, a lot of comments, a lot of good feedback. Uh, and I've actually clipped out some of the best comments here because I essentially wanted to build, or you guys have built, the Ultimate 90D. This is the viewer-built or viewer spec 90D. So this is uh, feedback from you guys on what you would like in a 90D. Now I've kind of cherry picked it and put together one heck of a camera from your comments. But check this out, see if this is the 90D that you would like. This is the one that you guys together collectively spec. Uh, Michael DiDomenico says, uh, how about 28 megapixels, 65 cross point AF, non-cropped 4K with dual pixel AF, and 10 frames per second. Now. I'm going to tip my hat to Michael right there because that right there would be more than enough for me to buy a 90D. The 28 megapixels, we're getting a little bump. 65 cross points would be an awesome AF system. Uh, non cropped 4K, that would be incredible with dual pixel AF. Now that's a little nod to, a little point at the fact that the M50 does not have dual pixel AF in 4K. And we want to see that in a, in a a, uh, I was going to say DX sensor, it's Nikon terminology, but essentially the same thing, an APS-C sensor. 10 frames a second, that would be very nice. Uh, Hugh Sweeney comments, it would need in-body stabilization. High frame rates, good dynamic range, and 4K recording to be a big leap forward. So the, the high frame rates, uh, in line with Michael said, the 4K... Um, in-body image stabilization. This is an interesting thing. It's something Canon really hasn't given us uh, a true legitimate kind of mechanical in-body stabilization. We've just had some some uh, electronic wizardry monkey business that I don't tend to like. Um, but we don't have a true in-body stabilization similar to Panasonic, what they have in theirs or in Olympus um, and in some of the Sonys. So uh, what I would like to see... Um, I was just thinking on that. I'm not sure. I'm kind of torn. I'm not sure if I need in-body stabilization for this to be successful. If we nailed Michael's points, I'd certainly buy one. I'm going to throw that one back to you guys as far as how you want to spec this. Is it essential? Does Hughes in-body stabilization, does it need to be in the 90D for it to be successful? Or is it just something you're hoping for and you'd really like to see? I wouldn't have any problem with it being there, but I don't think it'd be a deal killer for me. Then we have the singing history teachers. Hoping for 120 frames per second 1080. That would get me to buy it. So um, that's interesting. Not something I particularly need, but I can see how you'd like to have that in there. Yet another feature that would be nice to have. Um, Nedlieb Blyden, YouTube username, a clean HDMI out is needed. Hmm, that would certainly be nice. Will Canon give it to us at a 90D level? That's a good question. Uh, and how important is it? Uh, that's a good question too. Again, one of those things like in-body stabilization that I'd be happy to have. Not a deal killer for me um, if it wasn't there. But throw that one back to you guys. How important do you think the clean HDMI out is? Do you really want it in a 90D? Can you live without it if we had something like Michael's, um, the first comment there, the way that is specced? And then we have uh, Carl McNeil. Higher ISO, so we'll be better in low light. This we almost always tend to get. If we got a rise in megapixels, perhaps we wouldn't. Perhaps they'd eat up the advances in technology on the, on the increased resolution side and not on the better high ISO side. However, going back to Hugh's comment about a good dynamic range, that, I mean, better image quality is always welcome. I'd love to see higher ISO abilities and better dynamic range. I'd actually be happy I could live with it staying at 24 megapixels if it had better ISO and better dynamic range. And they would most certainly, I think, have to do this if they're going to use the existing sensor. You're going to tweak it with the newer digit processor. You're going to give us a better dynamic range and a better higher ISO if you're not going to give us more megapixels. I think the engineering ability is out there. 
to give us more bank of pixels. 28, as Michael said, I think 30 would be a, a sweet point. 30, even 32, um, with higher ISO ability and better dynamic range, at, or at the very least on par with what we got out of the ADD. I think we could still see better dynamic, dynamic range and better high ISO with a higher resolution sensor. But this is essentially an amazingly specced 90D. This is your 90D. You guys, you viewers, this is Michael Hughes, the singing history teachers, Ned Lib, and Carl's. Um, but also there's a lot of other people chiming in with very similar comments. So this is a viewer spec 90D that frankly I think would be amazing. It would be a home run, hit it out of the park, and a bestseller. So uh, what do you guys think? How do you like that for a viewer spec 90D? Would you buy this one? I mean, you guys have basically spec this. But let's, uh, I'm just curious to see those of you that didn't comment, how do you like that for specs? Um, let me know in the comments below. I guess that always begs the question too. Um, you know, well, the elephant in the room here is, will we even get a 90D? If we don't, we'll see something like a 90D in mirrorless. So that's the question. Will we get a 90D DSLR? But if we do, what do you think of these? What do you think of this viewer spec 90D that you guys came up with? Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comments below. As always, great to hear your feedback. Thanks for everybody that commented. Thanks for everybody that basically built one of my dream 90D. <laughs> and for a lot of you guys, the same thing. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.